What's going on everybody? It's your boy. I'm so gaming here. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Rainbow Six Siege map, Favelas. Now I've been playing around with this map in a custom game for the past few hours, just trying to get acquainted with the flow and the different objectives. And I gotta say, it is a ton of fun. Very hectic, but still very fun. And I just want to make this video for you all to help you get accustomed to the map as well. So let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to be going over the secure area game type. Uh, that's all I'm going to be going over in this video. If you want more, if you want me to go over uh, hostage or bomb, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. But for now, we're just going to be going over secure area. As you see, we only have four different locations. Packaging, football, armory, and on to party. So we're going to start out with packaging. Packaging is on the third floor, so it's the highest objective room. And I'm going to show you how many reinforcements you're actually going to need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Only nine. I'm going to have one left over. Now this window in the corner is a great window to be at peace. My people approaching on the roof, as well as on the adjacent roof, and the stairs down there. Keep in mind that this vent, the uh, attackers can throw grenades, drones, and flashbangs down there, so be mindful of that. Always open this hatch for an easy escape route. It goes right down into meth lab. You can open up this window, get a cheeky kill on the guy downstairs, or someone peeking from the roof. There's a guy on stairs and you move forward, you can come here, break this, get a kill, or you can break it completely, jump out and look up, get a kill on the guy breaching the sidewall. The guy goes down the stairs, you can chase him down the stairs as well. Catch a guy on his drone down here maybe. Head back up towards the objective. Now this window right in stairs. Great window to break out, jump, jump out, get a flank catch the enemy by surprise. Now we're on offense, assaulting the same room. I'm going to show you that vent and how to get your drone in there. Toss your drone on top. Jump over this little concrete barricade and there it is, the vent. Simply jump into it and you fall down right onto the shelves. I wouldn't leave your drone here, you're easily visible. So you can jump over to these shelves. Better, not great. So you can jump up to that speaker. Great visibility of the room. They're not going to be looking up here. You can hear somebody below you and see anybody else unless they're peeking the doorway, the main doorway. Now if you feel too exposed, all you need to do is simply jump over to this blue container thing 15 seconds left. and you have good visibility over the entire room now we are in football I'm going to show you how many reinforcements one two three four five six seven eight and nine only nine in this room as well one extra you are going to have to keep in mind that those will not be reinforced and you will have to watch them. Shoot out the fans, you'll see why later. Shoot out the TV speakers. Always look on top of the fridge for a drone. You can come over to this door. Bust out this door. Get a cheap kill on Thermite, laying his charges on that big long wall that's reinforced. Come over here, bust this window out. You throw a C4 on that adjacent wall. Pull a flank. Now I know people are going to try to hide behind this couch. Bullets start flying, but do not do so. It's not bulletproof. However, this barricade over here in the kitchen is. And the bullets are 
tunnels and not go through. Now I know people are gonna try to hide in this corner. It looks safe. Keep in mind if you're doing so, there are drone holes and people can shoot through them. You can shoot from there, or you can be attacking in the other room. Shoot through there. There's a hatch in the middle of the room. Pull that hatch out. It gives you two flanking opportunities. It drops you down into Buggy's apartment. And you can go this way over to Aunt's apartment. Upstairs. And flank. You can also drop down and go the other way towards main stairs. Through armory. Through laundry. Up the stairs. And into a grow room. The people are over here. Like now we're going to take a look at some drones in football apartment. My favorite one is in the kitchen. All you got to do is jump up on this counter. Jump straight up here. And then onto the TV. Most people aren't going to look up here. And as long as they don't see you doing it, they're not going to think they'll look. Great visibility. And you can hide back if they spot you. Another one is this fan. A little more visible, but you have greater visibility of the entire room. So you gotta jump on this side of that portable radio. And you're on the fan. You can see the entire room, even though the doorway cut you over there. What I would suggest doing is staging, staging your drone in this room and then breaching that wall. So you can see if anybody's in here before you're going to breach, right there. Another spot is in the corner with the TV. Jump up on this little spigot and then up on top of the TV. Pretty visible up here, but if the situation demands, go for it. Also, if you're thinking of assaulting from this angle or you just want to have somebody watch your drone for flanks, you can jump on this light. Not the greatest, but it might prove useful. Now we're in armory. And that reinforcement skin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you have two left over. Now we're gonna show you the room right next. This is uh, laundry. This door right here. You look out into the alley. Which you can kill. Jump out. Flank. This is Biker's apartment, which is also right next to Armory. We'll bust the hole and look right over at the main door. That main door is right around that corner. To the objective. What I would suggest doing is blowing a hole in it. You run out, and here's the main the door to the objective. You kill through there. Compromised. So if they're pushing main door, you have entered enemy control right. area. Leave now. You will confine. Drone spots. Jump up on that shelf. Up on to these lockers. And you have great visibility over the room. You can back up if they spot you. But it's not my favorite spot. My favorite spot is over here. Jump up on these shelves. Over to the locker. I'll jump over there to the TV. Great visibility over the room. If you plan on thermiting that wall right there, and you want to make sure nobody's hiding in these corners, jump over here. Two jumps. You jump over to the other side. Jump on the other side of the barrels, and you can look right down into that corner and see if anybody's hiding there. Now we are in Auntie's apartment. And let's see how many reinforcements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Only eight reinforcements. This wall right here is not destructible. And neither are those. 
One thing that you're going to want to keep in mind is this window right here. Offers a perfect flanking opportunity. Jump out. And you know people are going to be assaulting through these stairs. Come out right behind them. Always keep in mind that drones are going to be on top of the fridge and the kitchen. So watch out for that. Aggressor is not destructible, so you can hide behind it and be safe from bullets. All you're going to have to watch out for is the window to the far left and grenades. So this will be the best spot to hold that place. Drone spots. Everybody's going to look on top of the fridge. So I like to get on top of the fridge, jump over to the light, and then jump over to the fan. Great visibility of the entire room. They're probably not going to look up here. It's a good spot. Ten seconds. Maybe a better spot. Maybe a bomb, the indestructible dresser. Five seconds left. Get up here. Not visible. Great visibility. Now we're going to take a look at the cameras and each of the different spawns. We're going to start off with rooftops. This is where you'll start. You run down to the right and then look up along the wall, and there's the camera. Got great visibility of those two alleys. You want to take that out. Next is going to be school alley. We'll spawn right here, right in line with the camera. It's looking out over the, the soccer field, and you want to take that out. Next one is going to be street walk down the street and there's the camera got great visibility onto the top of the roof and to that courtyard so you're going to want to take that out now we're coming up we just destroyed that camera and we're going to go in towards auntie's apartment so if you're assaulting auntie's apartment from this area there's a camera right at the top of the stairs watching that so if you're coming up those stairs, you're going to want to take that one out. Now we move through Biker's apartment. Now we're in Armory, another objective room. Now if you're going to assault this one, through the laundry room, there's a camera right there. Going to want to take that out. Now we're going to move up towards packaging on the main stairs. There's packaging, and there's a camera looking at main stairs. They're called back stairs, but I think they're main stairs. Take that out. Now we move down the second floor. Secure the biohazard We're in a football apartment. And if you plan on assaulting from the pink stairs, bring the container. you're going to want to take that camera out. And that should about do it for me. Uh, I am I'm so gaming. And uh, I really hope that this video helps you guys out, uh, get you better acquainted with the map before you go in. Uh, if you want more, please like, subscribe, comment on what kind of types of things you would like to see. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.